For all those Tom McDonald fans out there, welcome to another episode of Pounds Firearms. Today, we are going over the SCAR cleaning kit and actually using it. So my last episode, I turned it to be a uh, SCAR unboxing slash quick review because, um, yeah, I had a different um, extended rail on here. It was the FN branded one and you couldn't get the glass gas block out. So today, we're gonna to try to do it a little bit different here. So I went ahead and switched this over back to the Midwest Industries, and I should be able to go ahead and get um, get the gas block out of here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this guy going here. So I won't go over a full unboxing here. We'll just make sure that the rifle is clear. All right, we're looking clear there. Cool. All right, so what we wanna go ahead and do here is we want to strip this thing down so basically we want to go ahead and do a field cleaning and a detail cleaning of the jet because i haven't done it yet with this new tool so we'll open up the tool here we'll slide this rifle out of the way a little bit open up the tool we're going to go ahead and get everything out here's the rods here are some break free scraper tool nylon brush Copper brushes and yeah, so a little, bit, a little bit of dirt in there somehow. All right, so these come with the 308 versions and the 223 versions. I don't know if you can see the size difference here, but that's going to be 223 and that'll be 223. Okay, so this is what we're going to be working with today. All right, so I don't know how much scraping we'll do. It's only got a few hundred rounds through it. Scars typically run pretty clean. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how how in-depth we have to get with it here. So hopefully we'll make this into a quick video. So we already checked to see if it was safe. Let's go ahead and take this guy down here. Extra credit for those that know scars. What triggers in here? It's pretty cool. We got a cheerleader over there. Hold on, pull the whole bolt out. There's the spring. There's the bolt. And that thing. All right, well, let's start with that. All right, so the first thing we have is, actually, let me pull out the instruction manual here. So to get the instruction manuals, it is laminated on the SCAR toolkit. So you will need the Star, cool, Star SCAR toolkit if you want the instruction manuals to it here. So this is what we're looking for. This is the, the tool here. So most of the stuff actually scrapes the um, the gas system here. So I don't know if we're gonna have to worry about that too much here. So bolts pretty easy to take apart. Well, in case you don't know, we'll go ahead and do a quick, do a quick rundown of taking apart a bolt on a scar so easy way to start is use the charging handle that comes with the scar and blow this guy out here all right uh, retaining pin oh, got this guy coming out got that guy coming out firing pin it's not too dirty there's your bolt the firing pin. You know, I, I lubed this recently, so it's looking pretty clean. Eh, let's get my fingers a little dark there. Firing pin's not looking too bad. All right. So, you know, let's try it. Let's see if this reamer can get all the way in there. It cannot. So it's not really designed for that. Huh? Okay, it gets in this one where the firing pin's at. It's not really designed for this though, so yeah. Not really designed for that. Alright, well, there you go. So we're learning as we go. I've never used a scar uh, cleaning kit before. So Bolt's not looking too bad here. We'll quickly put this guy uh, back together. We're looking to make sure the ejector is facing to the shooter's right, which it is. Put the guy in here. 
put him in there. Firing pin in. Oh, not too far to the firing pin. Line it up. Put the retaining pin in here. Give it a little smash there. Dogs are growling at each other. All right, we're in there, so it's back together. Nothing's coming out. All right, so we'll put this put this aside for now. Cool. All right, well, um, good thing the bolt was already cleaned out. So this is mainly going to be for the gas system here. So let's go ahead and attach, attack all the gas system here. All right, so with the gas system, one problem I was having, so is we're going to put the front sight up. So it's in the up position. The gas block is, the settings right here. So 12 o'clock is normal. 10 o'clock is suppressed. Rotate it to four is going to be to remove. So I'm going to use the charging handle, push in that D10, and then I should be able to get it to rotate over to, to four. Now I can do that. So the scar version of it, I can only get it like a few degrees here. So, all right, so the next thing we need, we actually need the tool out of the tool kit. So there is this special pusher that comes out of the scar tool kit. Basically what happens is you put this in the same guide rods as the, the bolt and pushes out the back. So we'll show you that here. So I'm going to line it up where the bolt will normally go, normally go. Get the bolt back in here and I'm going to hook up the charging handle. I don't know if you can see this or not here, but if you look in there, you should see, here's my bolt and then there's my little tool. There we go. So yeah, so basically what you do is just ram it. And it didn't ram very well. I think I have it on backwards here. So let's try this again. A little embarrassing, but hey. The reason why I say it's on backwards is because this thing ended up turning or twisting. So let's flip it around. Let's go up this time. Put in the same rails here. Guide, there we go. This looks a little easier. Now let's put the bolt back in. Maybe. Well, maybe it doesn't go that way either. What in the world is going on here? So that's kind of angling down when I push in the bowl. All right, we're gonna do this one more whack here. Maybe try to pull. I wonder if I just, oh, uh, you know what? I think I had it angled too far down and it was, Kind of jammed in there so let's try this again here put it back to the way we had it put the bolt in put the charging handle in here now let's see here so i jiggled this a little bit i think if you go all the way down it actually hooks in so i want to, i don't want to be all the way down i don't think there we go did you see that it blew it right out oh it blew everything out here we go and there's, there, we, there she goes. So with this Midwest, it's gonna come all the way out the front. Perfect, there we go. Hey, hey, we figured it out. That's the cool thing about Pounds Firearms, is you guys learn with me. Get that tool back out here. Tool came out just fine, charging handle. Perfect, all right. Well, this thing is, you know, it's not, it's not super caked on there. But it's got some uh it's got some some junk in there all right let's go back to our instructions here so the number one's the pivot okay the number two is the reamer cleans the gas regulator so you know even with this midwest rail we're not going to be able to get to the gas regulator i believe what it's talking about is going all the way in here which 
what I'm gonna be able to do. Well, dang it. There you go. So if you wanted to do a detailed cleaning, you cannot use an extended rail. That is interesting. Well, there you go. This is what you learn on Pounds Firearms. It's a little sad. <laughs> so it looks like to be able to clean the inside of there would be you'd have to pull this whole hand, rail or hand guard off. Problem with that is the Midwest Industries isn't isn't exactly easy because to get the Midwest Industries off you'd have to pull the whole barrel assembly off. So maybe the FN one is a little better because the FN one you can just do a couple bolts and the whole thing comes off. Well, shoot, that's a little sad. All right, carrying on. So, one thing we can do is, I believe, this little number five here, it's a hole that cleans the gas piston shaft. I'm assuming this is the gas piston shaft, so it should just be able to just do some old high school moves here. So you have to flip it over to the other side. As you can see, it's, it's getting shiny. It's doing its thing. Alright, well that's kind of cool. It wasn't shiny when we started, so that thing actually worked out pretty well. Bunch of carbon down here now, cool. All right, well, what else does this thing do here? So that was number five. What's number four? Number four is inner diameter of the gas regulator. Well, I can't get to the gas regulator, so that would be in there. Well, that's kind of sad. I guess if I pulled the barrel out, well, even if I pulled the barrel out, it still wouldn't work. Well, shoot. What else can we clean here? Anything else? This is the reamer. It's got the three different steps. Got a flat scraper. You can get some of that with the flat scraper. Oh, maybe this is what it's talking about. Oh, there we go. I can clean this part of it out. Oh, look at that. There we go. That's what it was talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, and this one goes on the outside of it. Oh, okay. So this piece goes into the inside. These pieces clean the outside of this. So basically, you just get this in here. And just twist it all through, I guess. There we go. Twist it up. Flip it the other side, let's make sure. Hey, that works all right. There's a lot of carbon laying around here now. All right, so this cleans the inside of this thing. There's some carbon in there too, so that's cool. You hear it grinding away. Oh, cool. All right. The other thing that thing has here is, so in the cleaning kit, in the rods section, where's my rods at? Rods, there is this little punch here. This is used, you see the gas ports in there, to clean these out. Oh, that one's actually dirty too. Where's the big one here? So big ones go. Big ones are okay. Yes. Yeah, big ones or the small ones do have some junk in there. So let's see if we can push it out here. Oh, that one blew right out. Cool. So as you can see, there you go. Oops. There we go. Cool. That was actually there was some. Some junk in there. See if I can blow, blow the bottom one out here. It's kind of 
jammed. I think it's supposed to come out. There's a bunch of junk in there. Let's see if we can get this guy out here. There we go. Look at that big old chunk of blue out. <laughs> cool. Well, that hole was completely clogged. So I don't know what gas setting that was for, but there you go. Let me get that reamer back in here. Or it could have been maybe when I reamed it, got it all stuck in there. All right. Well, I'm glad I did that. That was cool. There's also one this way. Oh, sorry, I was looking at it up close. Cool, those are completely free now. That's awesome. Got a bunch of carbon laying around here. You probably can't see it on the little camera, but yeah. Cool, all right. Well, so the part we weren't able to use is um, the ream right here. So we were able to clean this part and able to scrape the piston shaft, which is pretty good. I mean, look how shiny that got compared to what it was. That's uh, that's pretty cool in my book. Huh. Using the flat side scraper here to get some of these thicker chunks off. So they say the uh. The gas system, you don't want any cleaning solution in there here, so I'm just gonna scrape and whatever comes off with my hands is what comes off. I'm not gonna put any cleaning solution in this. Give it a quick wipe. There we go, look at that. I'm kinda happy with that, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we got that cleaned out, we got that cleaned out. Alright, so what else can we do here? Let's get the suppressor off. connect some of these so if you were looking at the um, the initial unboxing video here so you have to connect a couple of these now to get this to connect to a 308 you do need to use an adapter so I don't know how long we're gonna need it we're gonna just try to start with this all right and what I mean by an adapter here is this guy right here this won't thread on to the regular extensions. It won't thread on to the 223 brushes either. So, they do thread on to all the 308 ones. So if you want a 308, you have to use the adapter. The other end of the adapter will go to your poles here. I feel like I'm missing light. Let's get a little closer. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and this is just the chamber cleaner here. So it's not gonna go down all the way down the barrel. This is just gonna clean the chamber. So let's see if we can get an angle on this. Oh, you can. All right, let me take the bipod off. So if you turn it upside down, you can see the chamber right there. Oh, the sun's gonna kind of get in our way. Let's see if we can flip it around to see the sun. Oh, the chamber's right there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, like I guess I don't need all this stick there. <laughs> You can see, it goes right into the chamber. Oh yeah, look at that, just back and forth, really. Oh, if you push it all the way in, you see that? It goes all the way into the teeth. Let's see if we can get a good angle on it here. Pull it out. There we go. Yeah, see it's getting all the way in there, so all those little bristles. I'm sure you're gonna do wonders for this thing here. Oh wow, that is pretty cool actually. So if you look at this, there's some carbon on there. Everything's black. Take a look at this here. I'm sure you'll be able to see it, but it's a uh, well, we're wobbling here. It's pretty clean in there. I'm kind of happy with that. That's kind of cool, guys. Man, it is super clean in there. I wonder if I can get it in there. Man, I keep hitting it here. 
What if I can get it in there and then put my front post out before it breaks in there? I can get it in there and then maybe twist it around. It doesn't really twist when you, when you get close in there. Well, it's just, just insert and release, insert and release, but... I'll tell you what though. That thing's probably never been this clean before. Awesome. Put my scope and canvas back on. Cool. Alright. Well, didn't need the long rod. Whoa. Use my phone as my viewfinder. I didn't need the long rod, man. It's carbon all over the place now. That's cool. So let me undo this one. Now what we'll go ahead and do is we'll run the copper down. So you get that barrel pushed out a little bit here. So the other thing this does also is whichever extra piece you have laying around here on the pole, you can actually put it in right here as the handle. So give you a little more leverage here. So we're gonna try this. I'm gonna scoot back here, you won't, but you'll see me go in. There we go. So let's see if you can push the sucker out the other end here. I'm gonna smash my knuckles. I think we're out. We're close to it. Oh, it never came out. Uh-oh, I lost my handle. Oh. Does he pull the sucker out here? All right, so if you twist it a little, it worked out. I'm gonna add one more extension here. Maybe now I twisted it all. All right, let's see here. We can break, get one to break loose here. Let me put it back in. Come on. Whew, this thing gets jammed in there. Let's have some. Let's see, can we get one more extension on here now? No. <laughs> oh man. Well, of course, I didn't bring a pair of pliers with me. Well, let's just give one more whack here to see what happens. I'm trying to shove it in there and twist it. There we go, got it out. Which one broke loose? Of course, just the tip did. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? We're just gonna ram this dog through here. Let's see if we can get it. I mean, this should be long enough, right? Alright, that should be plenty long enough. If I go all the way up to here, that should go all the way to the tip. We're fine. Let me just make sure it goes all the way in here. Yeah, there we go. I see the brush now. I think it's just some carbon buildup, so it was just being a little less difficult to clean out. Twist a little bit. I feel like when you twist it, it breaks it loose. Just ran this thing in here a couple times here. So the handle turns out to be pretty important. I think it's a lot looser now. So yeah, I think I just had some fouling in there. All right. I don't see much in there, but we'll take its word for it here. I'm gonna go ahead and look down barrel. Wow. 
I didn't put no pads or nothing on there, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty clean. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let's see if we can get the angle to turn a little bit here. You can kind of see it. You see some shiny stuff down there in there for a little bit. Cool. All right, well. So what we've done here, clean the barrel. I'm not gonna use any cotton pads, but here's some cotton pads and some brake free if you wanted to shove it down there. Um, yeah, so we were able to clean the inside of this gas system. Uh, we did have some clogged holes, so that was cool to be able to blow those out using our little punch. Um, Use some of these tools here. So I did clean the outside diameter, clean the inside, clean the gas shaft or the piston shaft. We're able to do that. Didn't get to use the reamer because of the extended rail. So that kind of sucks. It's kind of funny because I took the FN branded one off to put this Midwest Industry one on, thinking I couldn't get the gas block off with the mid uh, with the FN branded one. Well. I can get the gas system out of this one, but I cannot. I cannot get to the uh, end of there and to ream it all out. So that was a little sad. I'll have to uh, play around with that and see if it's really, truly going to require me to take this off each time or what's going to happen with that. All right, guys, so we're doing some bonus footage here. After I started thinking about it, I was, man. I want to see this thing work. So went ahead and took the Midwest Industries rail off. So now we should be able to get to it here. So now we're going to take our reamer, slide out of the way. So here's the front jet right here. So this reamer should go all the way through is what I'm guessing. Let me turn it around here so I can get it better. Oh, knocking around. There it goes. Oh, look at that. It went all the way in. Now it's scraping it. Come out the other end. Oh, it sure did. There it is. So it does come out the other side. There we go. So we're just turning it back and forth, it looks like. You can see some of the carbon that's spilt right here. There we go. Oh, now it's nice and easy so yeah it was there's some carbon in there because now it's in and out no problem cool I'm glad I did that just to see it you see some wear marks on the tool already so cool all right so yeah so you do have to take off any extended rail you might have um, so I did pull off the Midwest Industries one and and yeah so now we got to clean the whole jet system out all right guys Back to the regular scheduled programming. Cool guys. All right, well that's the FN cleaning kit. Um, of course, well, yeah, we didn't use any of the brushes, so so you clean however you decide to clean your guns. Put your brushes in there. You know, clean, uh, clean the chamber out, whatever else. However you want to go about that. I guess I'm in here. I'll... It's actually really clean. That's the good thing about scars. It's it's pretty clean. So. If you... Hardly ever needed to do anything like that, man. So uh, I guess I could maybe use the brush for this area here too. But as you can see, it's pretty freaking clean. I don't really have to do anything with it. But yeah, there we go. Sweet. So we got to use half the tool, not the other half of the tool. I'll, uh, I'll keep playing with it, and we'll see what. Uh, um, yeah, we'll we'll see what needs to happen for that to work out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Pound from Pound's Firearms. Signing off.